Legend here, 53 Faction War. This is Estia Province and Space Marines versus Eldar. For the Blue Space Marine team over on this west side, it's Quest as an Apothecary support commander that fights in melee combat by default begins with a targeted heal and a passive health regeneration aura. This is the Salamander's elite scheme, I think. Yep, with the fancy capes over here. Alongside Kudder is a Tech Marine, starts off range combat, puts us with good damage, can also support with structures and repair Blood Ravens. And rounding off the blue Space Marine team is Rice Muncher, as a force commander of very good offense fights in melee combat, can also tank, disrupt and support with buffs. Red Eldar team, Stanley Love, is a Farseer support commander that fights in melee combat, powerful buffs, some debuffs and control abilities too. Looks like she's up against the Apothecary on the west side. Mid, we have a Dilla as a Warlock, melee spellcaster that can leap into combat with some powerful spells, giving him disruption, support and offense. Getting shut up there and rounding off the teams, Romulus Berserk is a Warp Spider Exarch, teleporting commander that fights range combat, great for capping and harassing with some powerful control abilities too. Over on the east side here, fighting over that contested power. So the Warlock's off the field, right? Are you? No, he's still in play. Now he's off the field. So Space Marines should be able to get through the mid here, but Banshees are always a threat to low-level commanders and Marines, of course. Yeah, Tech Marine doesn't want to get involved over here. Maybe we'll see Bionics up to help combat those Banshee advances. Meanwhile, West Side, Farsi are getting stuck in, tying up these Marines. And Bother Carry himself, oh, didn't want to run in there with Banshees lurking. But does recognize the threat in time, barely. Shotgun scouts up a little bit too late, but uh, do get their shotgun blast. Now these tactical marines are stuck in this bunker. Okay, everything moved away. Are you guys getting aspects? Nope. So they should be okay to get out. There we go. Very vulnerable to grenades when you're stuck in a garrison like that. Not sure what these marines are up to now, though. I need to back off. Banshees are still here. Already have their aspect up also. All three Eldar players getting Howling Banshees on the field. Adila's off the field here. And Romulus leaping into some Marines. Supported by the Force Commander though. Does great work for you against Banshees early on with his Battle Cry Disruption. Oh, lots of damage on this Warp Spider. Does he get away? Oh, that's a special attack. But he still gets down. Shot down there by Bolters. Force Commander's level 2 already, so he's done some work. Destructor flying in. I think it's pretty interesting that the uh, bolt guns of Marines are kind of modelled after SMGs more than anything. Very short barrels, no stock, and uh, relatively small magazine size. Built for that close combat, which of course Marines often find themselves in. Pretty cool little touch from Games Workshop to model them that way. Now you do have those stalker bolters, which are longer range bolters kind of thing, I think. Not sure if they have a stock on them. I don't think they do. But they do have longer barrels, I believe. Warlock getting stuck in. No war gear for this guy yet. Might see the Witchblade of Kurnus up in tier 2 to give him a powerful melee option against the Marines with that power melee damage. Lots of pew pew action from these Dire Avengers. Kind of blending into each other here. Whose are these? These are Stanley Loves and Adilla's. All very white. 470 to 493 on VPs, 2 to 1 cap for the Space Marines who have historically, I think, especially in the early Faction War seasons, Space Marines had a very, very good record against Eldar. Shuriken sit in the field now for the Eldar players, which will help them control the middle a lot more. There's a jump though, the Salt Marines in play from Cudder. Don't have huge synergy uh, for the Tech Marine, perhaps. you more more likely to see them with an Apothecary player or with a Force Commander player for the buffs and the heals, but still can do a hell of a lot of work for you in a Tech Marine's army, of course. Dire Avengers getting their Exarch. And looks like Eldar are going to take the west side. Maybe his double Tactical Marines, though, from Quest can support... A bunch of Marines very well with his advanced healing in Tier 2. As it stands now, he has Purification Rites to help him combat a melee threat that gets in on his Marines. Oh, first one went down over here. Has some Devastators. Where are they? Right here. 
Going to set up in time. Yes, they do. Banshees won't be able to get in. Although, pushing forward for grenade throw. There it is. Nicely done. Very nicely done. Took out two models. Oh, only one model. Warp Spider trying to finish off that one with a melee attack. Couldn't quite manage it. Banshee's such a threat, though. Such a threat. It was a good choice. Good play to get in there and use your grenades. Got those devs off the field and was... Um, Unlucky not to get two models there, I think, off those guys. The Salt Marines getting knocked all over the place by these Banshees. Taking massive amounts of damage from those power weapons. Ouch. Power melee weapons doing extra damage to heavy infantry armor. 445 to 459 on VPs. Very close. But a pretty even tier one, I think. Double tax into Assault Marines, a very heavy and strong tier 1 for Quest. Not a huge amount of power spent though. Just shotguns, rights, and the Assault Marines themselves. Oh, Banshee's in trouble. Banshee's in big trouble. Go down. Yes, they do. Stanley Love losing the Banshees, and I think he's going to want to replace them. And in fact, does replace them. I think that's the right choice. How else are you going to fight these Marines? And with Farseer support. They should be a big threat to the Marines. These Assault Marines, I should say. Nice grenades going in. Going to get a heal now, I think. Are they? Might be on cooldown. There it is. There's the heal. Purification rights is nasty. I mean, ideally, you'd hang back with your Banshees. Try, try to bait, a, bait out that heal so they don't get hit by the Purification rights. But uh, easier said than done. Maybe just try and pour... A bunch of range damage on the Apothecary himself, trying to make him use the heal on himself. But when you have a Salt Marines jumping on your face, it's uh, not easy to do. Here they are, jumping on faces again. Banshees are there to counter-initiate. But another jump comes in, and that's painful. Banshees can't stand against that. And away they go. Some grenade throws, maybe. Not sure where you fellas are setting up. Oh, more Banshees coming in, though. These are Stanley Love's uh, replacements, I think. Yes, they are. Tier 2 for all the Eldar players in good time, I think. Quest still in Tier 1, as is Cudder. Did Cudder get two Assault Marines? Or did he... I saw him getting one. I'm not sure if he cancelled it or not. Because if he got two and, and lost one, that's really bad. But uh, if he did, I completely missed it. Double Shurikens for Romulus on this east side. Getting that contested power. There's a nice grenade out of Infiltration. Oh, almost finishes them off. I think they retreated just in time there. And these guys are going to be tied up too. Nicely done by uh, Cudder there with his scouts. Scouts can give you some really nice tactical options as Marines. New players tend to not use their scouts effectively. What separates the good Space Marine players from the average ones is typically how well they can use those scouts. Librarian on the way for Rice Muncher. Lots of pew pew. And the uh, apothecary is off the field. Can they push forward here? I'm sure it can move up with them. Bringing that suppression closer. And they should be able to get a cap, I think. Send the Farsi and the Bantries in to tie up these guys. And he should be able to cap. Looks like he wants to get them off the field first. Oh, that is... The Mind War from the Ghost Helm of the Farsi. But... A Salt Marines jumping in at just the right time to put a massive amount of damage on the Banshees and they go down again. Stanley Love losing Banshees for the second time. Not too happy about it too. Perfectly timed jump to take him out there. Cudder with a whirlwind on the way. But look at these. Eldar through the mid. Getting a full cap here. Did a nicely done. Might get a triple. Might get a triple here. And they've got a VP lead. Here's the Librarian of Rice Muncher. Sub Commander for Eldar gives you some nice burst damage with his smite and some support abilities too. And there's that sacred standard. I think this thing is slightly overtuned right now, in my opinion. The range on it is a bit is a bit crazy, especially in a team game where you can buff multiple armies. The radius could be could be toned down a little bit, and I think it'll still be good value. Tier 3 for Adilla. Who needs tier 2 units? You can get a quick fire prism up, that'd be big. 
or maybe a seer council to really punish these assault marines. The assault marines are starting to have a big impact here. These guys getting there. Sergeant 2 will give them merciless strike. Looks like Stanley Love is not replacing the Banshees again. Goes for the Wraith Lord to fight those assault marines toe to toe very effectively. Power bashing, yep. It's done well on this uh, east side, I think, Romulus. That was a nasty smite, but these guys stand and take it. Force Commander with his default chainsword, around 39 DPS. Nice special too. Pretty quick special. Banshees do get away. Double Marines over here too. What are you doing, Scouts? You trying to get a shotgun blast at short, at short range? Not sure. Not sure what you're up to. Not sure why you were following the Marines in there. And you down, down you go. Uh oh, what is this? Was that? Oh, warp spider's being called in. Two eight two four three three. Space Marines have the west side and. Uh, we all know what can happen when the Space Marines get to tier 3 in in good health. Become very, very difficult to break down with Land Raiders and Terminators. Sloppy says Stanley Love. Uh, I think they lost the uh, their Shuriken at some point, maybe. Here's that Wraith Lord. Don't think you want to send it in here though, nope. We have Missile Launcher Marines. Oh, two Missile Launcher Tactical Marines. These guys have a Sergeant too, so they could transition into Stern Guard and be a threat to everything. Power Axe Apothecary with combat stims. Pretty cool to see. Another Shuriken on the way for Stanley Love. Wants the blue team to be thinking about suppression on this west side at least. Where is the Dillers one? Coming out of base here. Lots of pressure on the east side by the Eldar. Rice Muncher struggling to hold against this Eldar offensive. A lot of options that Romulus has here. Banshees, Warp Spiders, Double Shuriken. It's hard to fight against that. Oh, Banshee's getting too close there, though. A little bit of sloppy play. Could have kept them in. Kept them on the field there. These guys do have a Melter Bomb. Doesn't seem like they have the energy to throw it right now, though. Missile Launcher getting shots. Nice grenades coming in from the flank. Getting the Plasma Cannon Devastators out of there. Where's the Farseer herself? She is off the field, so can't tie up. The missile launcher marines using this shot blocker to good effect right now. And he of course can buff those missile launcher marines with his combat stims. So those missiles will do even more damage. Is it 25% more? 30% more. And it breaks suppression. Pretty damn useful. Sure, it's going to set up right in this force commander's face. That would have been a dead force commander if he didn't get the hell out of there. This is the whirlwind of rice muncher. Didn't expect to see two of these things. Didn't expect to see one on the east side either. Oh! Librarian got in, got a kill on that shuriken. Underestimated how ballsy this librarian was going to be. And he gets out of there too. 282348. Double cap for the Space Marines. I think uh, Romulus needs to start pushing mid or helping west or something. Because Space Marine is starting to look pretty strong on this west side. And that is marked target on the Wraith Lord. Wraith Lord trying to stay alive with Wraith Bone, but I don't think it's gonna. So that's double missile launchers coming in here. Down it goes. Stanley Love down to two units now. Avatar of Kane on the way for Adilla. This whirlwind continues to be annoying. Marines pouring damage on. See a council here for Stanley Love. Massive threat to all of these space moons on the field. Now they're in amongst these tacks. Oh, they're forced off though. Wow. Put the carry going ballistic on some Dire Avengers. Almost finishes them off there. Very, very nearly did. Why no grenades, says Romulus? I don't know. Did you try and throw one? I guess he tried to throw one. It didn't work. Oh, maybe he's talking about the haywire. Assault Squad R level 2 here with that Thunder and Lightning for Cudder. What about these heroes? What have we got? Just a Signum armor for the Tech Marine. I hear something kicking off. What is that? It's just a whirlwind shooting, I think. Over here. 
Where is that whirlwind? Oh, it's there. Oh, it's shooting at the VP. Those guys can't get the cap. Force commander's down. This gives you an even bigger buff from the standard. But Banshee's able to deal with double tactical marines quite effectively there. Did they get a model? I think they maybe did. Can they get in on the uh, whirlwind there? That was a nice shot. Not always the most reliable disruption from the whirlwind, but that was a good shot. That power got completely bashed and decapped. Avatar of Kane though on the field. I don't see any plasma guns to shoot this guy down either. Missile launchers will do a good job as well, of course. But for raw DPS, you want plasma. Power bashing on this east side. Can you get a decap or something? Maybe. Might get disrupted though. Warp Spider X like off the field. Look at this though. Sneaky scouts. Salamander scouts. Pushing through the mid. Is Adila getting a cap on the VP2? Recognize this guy. It's going to be tough to fight that west side. Trying to pull the space marines around. These whirlwinds have done a superb job. Oh, D Cannon is up for Stanley Love. Not sure where he's put it. Looks like he's taking it west side. They did get a full cap. But it's going to be retaken. And now the, now the Avatar is under threat. Oh, some plasma kind of friendly fire there. Wailing Doom. Angels of Death used by the Apothecary. One of his global abilities giving him 50% damage reduction and immunity to all types of knockback. And this Avatar of Cain might go down here. Oh, some more friendly fire, but they ate it with the Angels of Death. Avatar is going to go down, I think. What is this? Terminators? It's some Terminators from Cudder. Going to help shoot down this Avatar, maybe. Still got over 300 hit points. They're teleporting in for some power fist action. Where's the Wailing Doom? The uh, Warshout, I mean. There's the Warshout. Didn't actually suppress anything with it, but the Avatar lives. No, he doesn't. Down it goes. 275 to 223. That's a big loss for the Eldar. Space Marines in a strong, strong position now, I think. Get him to get their VPs back, though. Look at this. Sneaky Eldar. Lots of pressure still on this east side, also. Have this power pretty nicely bashed. Oh, there's the anti gravity grenade. Sets up lots of nasty things. Oh, there's the Stone Guard veterans for Rice Muncher with Hellfire rounds loaded in, doing damage over time to heroes and light infantry. So, pretty damn good versus Eldar. How are these Banshees still level 1 for Adila? Fire Prism on the way for Stanley Love. The D Cannon is where? Over here. 2 to 1 for Eldar. 247, 223. Two, Not out of this game yet. That's for sure. But Space Train is looking strong with lots of leveled up Marines. Terminator is now in play. And a Land Raider Edema on the way for Rice Muncher. Do they have any Eldritches? I think maybe Romulus does? Nope. Might be hard to fight that Land Raider. Rice Muncher, you'd think, would bring it to the west side, but you never know. Ethereal Slash from the Warlock, but down he goes. 243 to 223 on the VPs, 1 to 1. Farseer will get a uh, revive immediately and levels up to 4. She has her Armour of the Assyrian, which really does help you fight the late game Space Marine Blobs of Doom. Death Balls. Level 2 Banshees will get away. That's the marked target from the Signum armor. Man, these whirlwinds doing some serious work. What level are you fellas? Level 1 and level 2. No fire dragons to go hunt them down. Oh, they got a haywire on this one, but couldn't follow it up, looks like. Banshees chopping down some, some stern guard. Might finish them off here. Wow, that's a lot of chopping. Uh, did you retreat back to the... No, you didn't. Now the whirlwind's under threat. Can you get a frag assault to stop these banshees doing this, Mr. Land Raider? Do you guys have a shotgun? Nope. Trying to chase it, but they can't do it. That was the right, uh, that was the right uh, move to get out of there, I think. 243 to 211. Oh. Fire Prism. Taking big, big shots. 
I'm not sure what that was. Was that a missile launcher hit? Was that somebody just like exploded near it? But it's alright. Maybe it was just a melter or something. Avatar of Kane on the way now for Romulus. We'll help the west side surely to that big Wailing Dooms. A big threat makes things move the hell away. Plasma gun on the Tech Marine. Level 6. Here's a fire prism from Adilla. Stanley loves fire prism, needs a lot of repairs. D cannon gets jumped, but there's the mind warp. Allows the D cannon to escape and sets up a nice grenade. Gets those guys out of there. Can he finish them off? Would be a big, big deal. Oh no, there comes a the sergeant in to save them. Another nice grenade that time from Adilla. But the unrelenting advance of um, the Space Marines, that was a nice setup there. Time field into a singularity for Stanley Love. He's parking the Land Raider on this east side. I mean, it's not like they need a huge amount of help on the west side right now, so why not? It's getting some repairs. Time for Romulus to go full middle, I think. I feel like he's been kind of distracted by that east side a little bit. 243 to 159. Trying to fight the Space Marines head on with a Land Raider. Perhaps not the best idea. There's an Eldritch, though. Can he follow up and take this thing down? Would be a big, big deal if he can. Only the Avatars here to do damage, looks like. Oh, there's a Bright Lance. And a potential Haywire if these guys can teleport in. Wailing Doom. Good damage. Takes out the Whirlwind too. Really, really good push by Romulus. Just as I said, it's time to go mid. He does massive, massive damage on this east side. Land Raider's going to be dealt with. Rice Muncher asking for help, but nothing can get here, I don't think. Can't get rear armor hits, but down it goes. Well, well done by Romulus. Fire Prism is helping out too. Oh, but here's another Land Raider Redeemer for Quest. Rice Muncher lost a lot there. So they have the roster advantage now. They have that roster advantage. Do they have another Eldritch though? Not yet. Adil is kind of close to one. Still looking strong on this west side though, the Space Marines. And now pushing the mid. Which made of Kerner's Cloak of Shadows and Warp Throw and Providence on the way for the Adila's Warlock. Cyclone Missile Launcher is up here. Massive threat to the Fire Prisms if they stay still. Look how far up they're pushing this land raid. This is a massive risk. Pretty confident here, Quest. Wailing Doom. This guy with marked target though and eats a Melter Bomb. Avatar's in trouble, needs some help here. These guys need to move up and help. Might be too late. Oh, there's an orbital bombardment. Not sure who dropped that. Maybe Quest. Hits the Dire Avengers pretty well. Avatar, I think, is going to go down here. Taking a hell of a lot of damage from all sides. And uh, down he goes. The Avatar explodes. Yeah, and does knockback. Look. I don't think it does damage, though. Let's knock you over. 243 to 98. Force Commander's level 4. Only has a sacred standard. Another avatar on the way. This time from Stanley Love. Each player getting one. Look at this pressure from the Space Marines. 243 to 90. The Land Raider did take a lot of damage, but it's alright at the moment. There's that Cyclone missile launcher. Look at that damage. Holy crap. They do so much damage per missile. They do spread out quite a lot, though. What's this? More. Nasty Space Marine stuff. Yep, more Terminators from Cutter. And gets another Cyclone Missile Launcher up immediately. Space Marines knowing their strength going for this VP. Assault Terminators up now for Rice Muncher 2. Going to be very tough to fight back against this for the Eldar. There's this guy. Must be going back to the Land Raider there. So he'll be alright. Still be very much in the field, ready to fight. Avatar of Kane, number three. It's going to hit the field for Stanley Love, but the Space Marines have a double. Fibrism can't knock back these uh, Terminators. They both turn and do their Cyclone Missile Launcher thing. This is a very dead Fire Prism, I think. Here comes the... Whirlwind 2, there's the Hunter Killer Missile on rear armor. Boom! 
big, big damage there. Two to one. Desperation for the Elder. They do have something on the VPs. It's some, uh, it's some Banshees on capping duty. Another fire prison for Romulus. These guys being chased, but they're being chased by piercing damage, which they can shrug off relatively well, those Terminators. These ladies did get the decap for a one to one now. And Eldar pushing west side. Farseer trying to get a decap knocked off by a shotgun blast, though. She's going back in for another shot. That's going to be a singularity. There's an Eldritch. Can they follow this up here? Can they follow that up? Avatar is there. Fire Prism is there. And the D cannon will be getting shots on. Nice Wailing Doom. That is, I think, I think a dead Land Raider. Down it goes. Big, big win. But they need the VPs desperately. they got a massive amount of VPs to make up here. The Assault Marines are able to get those um, Dire Avengers off the cap. Fire Prism number three, uh, the sorry, Avatar number three backs away. Might be able to get the submarines out of there. Yep. Crack. This should get a model. There we go. Warlock levels to three. Has his full angry space elf build. We'll see what he can do with it. Might be able to get a cap with Providence up. This is some more stuff though. More Terminators, I guess. Yep. This time from Quest. Four Terminator squads on the field, not easy to deal with at all. Space Marines coming all the way through onto uh, Red Team's Natural, and this is going to be, I think, a single cap, but I think that's going to be enough to see this out for the Space Marines. Have 240 VPs remaining, and there is the victory. Hard fought to the end for the Eldar, but they had just a couple of really bad engagements on this west side of Stanley Love, and that allowed the Space Marines to get the momentum up, get their late game Terminator and Land Raider Death Balls going with leveled up marines and it's just it's hard to deal with hard to deal with for anyone level 7 apothecary we had a level 8 tech marine had his ref refractor field at the end level 5 force commander to get artificer armor level 6 farcia with her helmet on level 3 warlock trying to cap at the end there and a level 4 warp spell exit they took down two land raiders but uh wasn't enough wasn't enough to stop the space marines there thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you next time.